So how has it been with the water people? Our boy Alfie, he's obsessed. He lives that. I am so obsessed. Our whole family is so obsessed with this waterfall. The whole neighborhood's obsessed. Everyone that comes here, they're like, oh, I love your house. Whoa, what's that? What's that? Hey, it's just the first of multiple projects. Are we going to do more? We're going to do more, of course. Are you kidding me? I'm the pond guy. You are the pond guy. I'm back at Laura Cleary's house. It was six weeks ago that we finished up this build with a bunch of certified aquascape contractors that came from near and far. And it was fun for us to be able to build for such a person who's been a positive influence to many people's lives. She is a comedian on Facebook with over 15 million followers. What she's known for is chronicling the journey of her family, her kids, her husband, hilarious type of stuff. She just came out with a new book. And when we came in here, we were permitted to go and do whatever we wanted and we wanted to do a pondless waterfall when we saw this natural slope ed Ballou, the pond professor said i have to put a pondless waterfall here whenever we find a slope to work with as certified aquascape contractors it's like a palette to work with as artists so check out this beautiful aquascape ecosystem pond steven's meeting us out here right now and we built six weeks ago for lauren Stephen clary So Steven, it was great time building oh, for you. Amazing. We have a beautiful book for you, Hands oh. of an Artist. Ooh. Your water feature isn't in this one, but it will be. So this is all of our oh, best wow. project from all over the world. Amazing. Submitted by our certified Whoa. counters. This is my office, Aqualand. That's your office? That's my oh, office. My in the winter, you don't have that white stuff here wow. very often, but all the different sections. So you can just get inspired to live the aquascape lifestyle even more. I love it, thank you. So how has it been with the water feature? It's been absolutely incredible. And everyone that comes here, they're like, oh, I love your house. Whoa, what's that? What's that? Yeah. And they go out like uh, we had uh, someone over today who hasn't been to the house before and he loved the house. But I came in and he was just standing looking at the pond for like 15 minutes yeah, saying yeah. nothing. And he's like, if I was, this is my house, I just would live out. It creates an environment and it's a yeah. place to draw. And you can see it from all the windows in your house. Totally. And we basically sleep with the door open with the fountain running every that. night. Yeah. Can we go check yeah, it out? Absolutely. All right. Please. That's the view. And you hear that sound from the whole back of the house. That looks great. Hey, the plants are alive. Right? You got the irrigation we fixed. Got the huh? irrigation guy. <laughs> he came in three or four days later and yep. he's got an individual sprinkler on every nice. one. So he did a really good job. It's absolutely stunning. Our boy Alfie, once he's down there, <laughs> three or four hours, we can't get him out. Oh, that we'll is. bring him up the steps and he'll go, I've just got to go back and just have another look. He's obsessed. He's lives that here. I love it. Yeah. Okay, so the last time we were here, this just got done. It's been running for for about six weeks now. I love that they kept the giraffes down there drinking. They actually just had these giraffes sitting in their yard kind of, and now there's actually a reason to, to put them there. It's so rewarding for me to come back and see a project 
that we've built and how the people are actually enjoying it. And the fact that A, their kids love it is the greatest thing. The fact that guests come to their house, I mean, can you imagine that and hear that sound and everybody comments about it? This is why I love exposing people to living the aquascape lifestyle. This was not an easy project to do on that slope with these kind of conditions, but it was fun working with a team of certified aquascape contractors from all over. The first comment that she said when she saw this was, I'm firing my therapist. How cool is that? And to think about that, that you would actually get the peace and tranquility that you're looking for from a water feature. And this is why I love to say, I love my job because I know how a water feature changes a house into a home. You're done with your book, right? Yes, it's coming out tomorrow. Exciting. Are you loving the water feature? I am so obsessed. Our whole family is so obsessed with this waterfall. The whole neighborhood's obsessed. Isn't that the way it goes though? Every time we build a water feature, it brings neighbors together. Literally, we're the envy of the block, I gotta say. <laughs> hey, it's just the first of multiple projects. Are we gonna do more? We're gonna do more, of course. Are you kidding me? I'm the pond guy. You are the pond guy. Do you have an idea of where? Yeah, let's show you. Hold on, I'll be right out. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, I was thinking about going with purple today. Well, I was I, thinking you, know, you should. Grow out of those. You could actually dye this purple. What do you guys think? You think I should dye my hair once? What pastel color should he dye his hair? <laughs> I heard Alfie is loving the water oh, feature. Oh, he's. Oh my God. He's getting really bold though. He's climbing up. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Well, that's, like, what, okay. that's what kids do, I right? I know, I know. Out here, this is a beautiful little space. Yeah. And just to add that sound element, Okay. I was thinking somewhere out here, a little fountain scape, just with the water dripping down. Oh, and wow. the nice thing about that is the kids can still splash in it, but you can let them go kind of a little bit, you know, yes. because there's nothing to, for them to fall off of or anything else. So just a little fountain over here somewhere Ooh. in this area, like. Maybe in this little secluded garden right here. Oh. So when you're sitting out here, you would just have that and the birds would just bathe in that all the time on the top. I love this. This is doable. Yeah, very oh easy. My God. Come and pop that out in a day. Stop. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Woo. Second water feature for Laura Cleary. I love my job. I love my job too. And out comes the stack slate, huh? Yes, sir. We are gonna be building this for Lauren Stuff and Cleary right where that, that grass is. So a basin, a beautiful topper, and the sound of water right next to this cute little table that they have in their front yard that they'll see every time they pull in. Bet you we can do it in three hours or less. So there's the large aqua basin. And there's the stack slate urn. I'd go right where you're standing, kind of like pull that plant out. Yeah. You know, just kind of center it there. And then of course you'll still see it from pulling in. Okay, we're digging. And this beautiful fountain is going in. 30 minutes in, let's just check the basin. We're making sure it's level. Look at that, right there. So the basin is set and now we're just gonna backfill it up and uh, put our topper on. So there is the basin getting covered up right now with the bib liner. So we're just gonna cut out, you know, two inches in all the way around here. Any splash, as long as this is up a, an inch all the way around higher, it'll help pull it out. So we got a good foot overhang here, another foot overhang here. So it just extends the splash zone of the stack slater. One hour in and Chad is filling up the basin. You can see how the skirt bib liner looks and we'll use Mexican pebbles and some plantings and some stones to soften up that edge so you won't see it. But once again, that all goes back down to the um, basin. So any splash will get caught. All right, adding the finishing touches right now. Water is full. Look at how nice that's looking. Woohoo! Can't wait to see this running. Finishing touches. Look at how nice that sounds. And at night, that's just gonna glow. And the birds will love bathing up here. <laughs> 